Hello, thank you for tuning in to Shane for Crafts. My name is Shane. Now today is gonna show is gonna be about easy summer crafts. Now today I have an old hat that I'm gonna fix up. Okay, I have some white spray paint, and you can pick spray paint up at any craft store, and also pick them up at hardware stores. Okay, yeah, and I'm I'm gonna spray this hat white. And then I'm going to decorate it and, and give it some new life because I need a new summer, summer hat for the summer. Okay, so I'm going to run outside and spray this down with some spray paint because you, when you use spray paint, you need a lot of ventilation. So I'm going to run outside and I'm going to spray paint and then I'm going to come back in and finish uh, fixing up my hat. Now, I got my hat spray painted all uh, white, as you can see now. It already looks like a brand new hat, just with a little spray paint. I went in and spray paint, I let it dry. I did about two coats of spray paint, just to make sure I got all of it covered. Also, after I got done with the spray paint, I put a light coating of varnish to protect the paint on it. And then, after I did that, I let the hat air out, because once you spray it, it does smell like paint, so you wanna let it air out a day or two in order to get rid of the smell, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna be putting on some ribbon and a flower. So I'm letting my hot glue gun here heat up, and once that gets heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my uh, flowers and my ribbon, okay? Now, um, before I hot glue my flowers and ribbon to the hat, I'm gonna, um, I've already decided I want the front of the hat to be up because I want my forehead to be out. Okay, like that. Okay, that's why I'm gonna put my flowers in also. What I'm gonna do is I can hot glue it and it'll probably stay, but I'm gonna make sure it stays put. So I have some kite string here. Okay, and I've already have a large needle. Okay, and I've already tied an extra large knot at the end. Okay, and what I'm gonna do. I'm going to thread through the, the, this part here. The reason why I'm going to do this part is because I don't want the knot to ever be seen. Okay? So this way it won't be seen either on the front or in the inside. Okay? And I'm just going to thread around here a few times. Pull it in, pull it through. So that way it's kind of secure. And then when I follow up with my hot glue, I know it, it'll always and stay in place. All hats you can do all this threading through this type of hat because of how big the holes are. That's why I'm able to do it, the threading. Some of the hats you're not going to be able to do all that threading like that. You might just be able to do a little bit. And then some of them are so where you might have to use smaller thread. And then remember when I had started off in the inside, remember, I'm going to go back through and loop it back through and meet up right with that where I started it out at. Pull it through so both parts are coming out of the middle. I'm gonna cut this. Then I'm going to tie this knot. Give it two or two, three knots and tie it down. One, two, three. Then I'll hot glue all that in place and that will never come apart. Cause I forgot to put my ribbon on, my yellow ribbon. Now I'm using this yellow. The colors I decided to use was this, this yellow, this white yellow flower, and this yellow ribbon because I'm looking for something that I can kind of wear with everything. So this is kind of neutral for me. And uh, now this 
these flowers I got at a local dollar store, okay, just for a dollar for the whole bunch. And this ribbon I got on sale, okay, at a craft store. Okay, so like I said, the hat was free. I had it around the house. So, you know, definitely you can make this and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Now, even though I forgot the ribbon, I'm still going to put it on. I just have to work it in here. I'm going to probably slip it in here past underneath it. You see under here, I can still get something through it. So, if you forget, it's okay. You can just always go back and uh, slip it back through there. Every few inches, I'm gonna put another dab behind you to hold the ribbon in place against the head. I got my ribbon on, okay? My yellow ribbon, okay? Here we go. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is start putting on my flowers. I got my funnel, my, I got my ribbon on. Okay, you can see. Now, next thing I'm going to do is flowers on. Now, for the front, I decide I'm going to give you these flowers. I'm just going to pull them off and hot glue them to the front of the hat. Okay? I decide to use three flowers. Okay, three of these. I'm just going to put those on the front. And then, once those are on, I'll be done. Now this is the finished product. This is my hat. Now, um, I said it didn't cost a lot of money. I already had the uh, hat around the house. It was an old straw hat. I just had to buy some spray paint. That was just a couple of dollars. And like I said, the flowers I had gotten from a Dollar Tree and the ribbon I got on sale. And uh, it didn't take a lot of time. Now this is an easy summer craft that you can make. And like I said, you can make it all in one setting. The only thing you might have to wait on is when you spray paint the hay. You have to let that dry. But basically, you can do this in within a few minutes. Also, this would be a great gift, um, you know, for our birthdays. We got Mother's Day coming up. This would be a great gift for Mother's Day. You can wear this hat, uh, you know, to go shopping. You can even wear something like this to go to church, to go to church or go out to dinner. So, um, and like I said, you don't have to use white. You can use any color that you want or any type of flower or ribbon that you want to make it more something that you would like to wear. Well, that's all I have for, for today. My name is Shane, and I want to thank you for watching Shane for Crafts, and God bless.